So first, I'm on the project management screen here, and I just want to point out that you do not add new floor plans with the buttons at the top here. These are to make new projects in the system or to upload existing backups of projects. And projects are the containers that hold floor plans and employee information and a bunch of other things. Of course, to make a floor plan, we first have to be within a project. So you can do that by clicking the project name on the management screen. Or like in this case, I'm going to make a new fresh project and we'll add the floor into that. Just name this new project and add it. And when you make a new project, uh, by default, you'll see a demo floor plan um, as the first thing you see. So you can see the floor plan and a couple demo panels on top. And after you're adding our own floor plan, we're going to delete this. At the top right, just make sure that you're logged in as an administrator. And then go to the side menu at the top left and then hit the green plus button. From there, add the floor name. And in the type selector, just make sure that floor is selected. As soon as you hit that add button, you'll be prompted to upload the image file. And for staff map, the image file format supported are JPEG, PNG, SVG, and GIF. In this case, I'm going to grab a JPEG file. And as soon as you select it, it's uploaded into the system and you can see it as this background layer. If I go to the top menu as well, I can see that the 10th floor has been added to the top of the list. Um, if I want to from here, I can use these arrow keys to move it into another position if I want, but I'll keep it at the top for now. So when you have the floor plan added, the next step would probably be to add your desk panels and employee panels. For testing, I like to open the staff list, enter the employee edit mode, and then just drag a couple panels somewhere onto the floor plan. So once those panels are there, you can start adjusting the sizing. In this case, I feel like the panels are a little bit too small relative to the floor plan size. And to adjust that, I can jump into the floor plan properties. Uh, so in the side menu at the left, I'll click 10th floor, click the gear icon at the top, and then you'll see we have a few options in there. So the name can be changed at any time. And you can also adjust the floor icon, which shows in the side menu, just to maybe something like this. And when you save that, it'll be visible. You also have access to the scale slider. So if I zoom in a little bit, I can adjust this scale slider if I make it larger and save that. You can see the panels have shrunk down relative to the floor plan. And if I jump back to the properties and increase that the other way and save, we'll see that again, the floor panels or the employee panels are a little bit bigger and fit the, uh, the surroundings a bit more. I think I can even jump that up a little bit more. And that looks good to me. So one other property in here is the image URL. So at the moment that points to the image folder within the staff map project folder. And at any time, if you're knocking out walls or adding or removing some cubicles, you can replace that background image while keeping all of the information on top. So as an example, I'm just going to adjust this. I have another image that I made where I removed some spaces and colored it a little bit blue. So I'll upload that with the plus button. And as soon as I hit the save button, you'll see that background image has changed. So if you do have panels on top, those will stay in the same position, um, assuming the image is the same size as the original. So you don't have to do too much uh, moving around. Most of your work is still there. You just might have to adjust some things um, based on what you've changed in the source image. And the last thing would be deleting floor plans. So I mentioned we have this demo floor plan, floor one, that's always in newly created projects. If we want to remove that, we just select it in the side menu and hit the yellow minus button, confirm, and that floor will be removed from the system.